And away from that, the Project Development Institute says adequate harnessing of the country's local resources and adding value to them is critical to stopping importation. The agency says its collaborative efforts with relevant agencies is towards economic growth and development. Lara Afolayo reports. Nigeria has over the years grappled with a trade balance tilted towards imports than exports, with the country having to import many finished goods which it has the natural endowments to produce. The country's Projects Development Institute is not happy with the situation as it believes with the right commitment and political will, the country could be a major producer and even exporter of many commodities it exports. The agency says already its various collaborations with other institutions have led to the training of local porters in Niger State in modern ceramic production techniques. It has also brought about the design and production of pencils for the education sector. When I came on board in Proda, I think I've been in Proda since June 3rd, uh, when I came in board, because I was going from Proda, from MBTI to Proda, and MBTI is known for commercialization. So the first thing I did was to get a control times. Then I had a package. He came and spent like one week with us and discovered four unique products that are now um, also getting an investor that are going to bring in their fund. The Institute says it has also been engaged in several demand-driven research over the last 40 years, leading to innovative breakthroughs in diverse sectors of the economy. Its foundry has also been equipped to service and produce major types of motor spare parts of high quality. Though the Institute remains positive that these efforts have impacted the economy positively, it has been advised by the Science and Technology Authorities to sensitize the public on these efforts and seek partnerships with relevant organizations for commercialization purposes. STI, we all know, is just the in thing. It's just the, there's no alternative to STI all over the world. If you look at all the facets of the national economy, whatever you see from the, your kitchen, so even the airplane is all about STI. Once you pour the water, it traces to WHO standard. And uh, we, uh, we used materials that are within us, the clay that is around us, and also the sawdust, sawdust waste, so which serves as a, a, a management, a waste management control. Funding is a major challenge for research and development in Nigeria, and the agency seeks more support for such innovations by way of incentives for researchers. The Project Development Agency, which is one of the country's leading research institutions, pledges commitment to actualize in its mandate, which has already brought about the creation of various research and development innovations, get towards economic diversification. Lara Folayo, TVC News. The World Bank is about to release funds for project implementation to the Rural Electrification Agency that will serve to complement the annual budgetary allocation from the federal government. The Minister of State for Power, Godi Jedi Agba, said this at the REA Management and Retreat in Abuja. Abid Alawal has details. Vision 7 2030 of the Sustainable Development Goals is about ensuring access to clean and affordable energy, which is key to the development of agriculture, business, communications, education, healthcare, and transportation. The lack of access to energy hinders economic and human development. Latest data suggests the world is making appreciable progress towards its sustainable energy targets. At this gathering, Minister of State for Power, Jedi Agwa, says the projects implemented through the Rural Electrification Agency will go a long way in closing the energy gap and bringing life to unserved and underserved Nigerians. I'm assuring Nigerians that REA is a robust organization and it will continue to provide and care for power for the rural communities as it is doing now and will do forever. The chief of the Rural Electrification Agency on his part implores stakeholders to contribute ideas on how Nigeria can build sustainable rural communities that deliver their quota to the economy, especially in the areas of agriculture, mining and light manufacturing. Today, uh, we were able to come in and bring in uh, some of our external uh, colleagues uh, so that we can sit down and deliberate around 
uh, certain thematic areas. So based on the institutional assessment that we have done, we've identified some key areas around uh, M&E and sustainability, around uh, strategic communications, uh, around uh, ensuring that uh, projects that we have done uh, is well coordinated within state governments. The Rural Electrification Fund and how we look to see uh, to continue to grow that fund uh, so that we're able to have uh, impact uh, uh, investments. Uh, we continue to partner with uh, private developers so that uh, we can cater for the needs of all Nigerians that do not have power at the moment. Rural electrification remains important as it continues to play an important role in the global conversation in energy transition and off-grid electrification. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.